Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I will show you how to fix an invisible face um, or invisible part of a mesh in Roblox Studio. So let's begin. As you can see here, I am in Roblox Studio and I got this uh, mesh right here. It's a mesh part which um, has two cores. One has an invisible gloss panel and the other one is just perfect. Well, as you can see here, if we go inside, we can see this uh, face, but if we go outside, we can't see this. And it's because uh, faces have only one side of view, which means if you go inside the mesh, you can see the outside, but if you go outside the mesh, you can't see the inside. It all depends on the person who, you know, made the, you know, made the model. And today will, I will teach you how to fix this problem. So let's get into the thing. So here I got Blender 2.8. Um, so it's it's basic. It's it's the car. I added some lights, so I make I could make a really nice looking scene right here. So if you go into the look tab, this is how it looks like, you know, um, I got some shading, I got some, it's not very realistic because that was my goal, so my goal was to make this low poly car look more cartoony and to make it look, you know, quite good. As you can see here I got some blue shade, which if we hide it's going to turn this black because I got uh, to make I want to make this look a little bit different as you can see here so yeah um, this is the basic mesh let's hide the lighting because we don't need that yet I mean we don't need that at all in the video so this is the mesh I exported it and imported it into a blender uh, from my previous project because I made a few cars like this I made like 15 cars with this style so yeah today I will teach you how to fix the gloss well as you can see here it shows that the car is perfect it doesn't show that the car has an invisible gloss but it might have so how do you know well before going to export you see uh, you need to fix some problems you see this this looks perfect it looks like it has no problems but if you put this into blocks it's gonna have a lot a lot of troubles so yeah how do we detect that well first of all uh, when detecting this you have to click the object so I'm going to rename this object car test because I used this for a test it wasn't supposed to do this well now go to this panel on top and overlays and then scroll down into files into find until you find face orientation. Once you did that you can see the car is going to turn blue and some faces might turn red. For example inside faces or some outside faces like the gloss. Well as you can see here this is the gloss that can turn invisible. Well, um, I used another model for the studio, so you know it's you know you can see the face inside, but you can't see the face on the outside. And let me tell you what this means. Well, if it's blue, it means it's aligned correctly. It means the face orientation is perfect. But if it's uh, red, it's not. So to fix that, you can go to edit mode right here on top, and then go to select faces. You see, this is how it's like the face. You can go by pressing 1, 2, 3, not the ones on the right part of your ma uh, of your keyboard, but on the top. So, you see, you can turn this, you can press 3. Uh, if you press 1, you can see the vertices, 2 to select edges, and 3 to select the faces. So, now we go to select these faces by holding shift and click. And now we can go to mesh right here on top and then go to normals and then flip. 
Now, once you did that, we can go back to object mode, and as you can see here, it's turned blue, which means the mesh is perfect and it's ready to be exported and then imported into Roblox. Well, yeah, this is how you fix the car, I mean, or any other object you made. So, now we can go select the car, go export, object, and then insert this into Roblox. Now this is how you turn this from an invisible face into this visible face to fix this glitch. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.